we've learned that there are systems out there that can help. They're not perfect. You're still going to have people die in, in these floods. But 30 plus children with not a chance, uh, that's, that's just that's horrific. They need to build a radar base, floodplain map library is what it's referred to. The hydrologic models that we use, which have been around since the 1960s, are really quite accurate. And the steeper the slope, the better we can make those predictions. You know right where the water is going to go and it's going to follow the, the laws of physics. It took about three to four hours for that to move through the Guadalupe. Three to four hours is plenty of time for our system to work. The state is the key in this. TEDM and other groups, they have the capability to implement this and, and to run it. This is Flash Flood Alley. So you've got to have a combination of systems. You can't just rely on the computer. That's why you have to have sirens. You've got to have other methods. Every large camp should be required to have someone there who's trained and that's their responsibility. And if they saw it in the middle of the night, all those kids had to do was get to higher ground because the higher ground is right there. Next time, be prepared, be ready, have a system in place because you are camping out in the third most dangerous floodplain in America.